Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Hope. In this video, we'll discuss another liquid problem that is satisfiability of equality equations. This is a medium level problem and we'll understand what this question is asking us to say and how we can solve a question like this. So before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to Learn Overflow, make sure to subscribe to Learn Overflow for regular liquid videos like this. The question says we are given a string of equations. There's a string of equations and array is given. Uh, like the array of string of equations is a represent relationship between the variables of where each string equation i is a length uh, four, which takes two different forms, either x uh, one double equals y one or x one not equals uh, y one. Okay, so here x one y one are lowercase English alphabets. So we need to return true if it is possible to assign integers to variable names so as to satisfy all the given equation or false otherwise. So that's the question is asking us. So let's understand it. Basically, the question says, like, if we look at the example, it says like A equals B. Fine. Uh, so if A equals B, and then further we are saying B not equals A. So that means, uh, can we assign variable? Like, is it a valid statement? If A equals B, uh, first we are saying that both are equal, and then we are saying that they are not equal. So this is not a, uh, they are contradictory statement. So that's why we are returning false. In the uh, other case, it says a, B, B equals A and A equals B. Okay. So this is a true statement because uh, it holds truth. Okay. So we are given an equation, something like this, A equals B and then B equals C. And further it's saying A equals C. Okay. So if uh, we're given equations like this, then in that case, we know that if A is equal to B, fine, and B is equal to C, and further it is asserting that A is equal to C, this is obviously true, we can understand, right? This is true. So uh, for that, if you just uh, uh, look in the next example, next example, I'm saying like A equal to B, fine. And then we are looking for B not equal to C. Fine. So if, if in this kind of example, like B not equal to C, so we know that, okay, A equals B and B is not equal to C. Fine. And then we are saying A is equal to C, like C is equal to A. Fine. So this cannot hold. Okay. So the, if, if you, I think you are understandable, like what we are trying to assert, like we are trying to find out whether all the equations can actually hold or not. So that's what it means, like assign integer to the variable, okay? If you assign an integer to this variable, like A equals B, so if you assign um, any integer, say you assign one to A, and then you assign, uh, like if you assign one to A, that means B is also one, okay? Further, you are finding that B is not equal to C, so it's like one is not equal to C, C must be something other than uh, B, like like other than one, right? Let, let it be two. Okay, and then we are finding C is equals one. Is it is it anyway holding? No. So that's the basic idea we need to uh, like we need to solve this question. Okay, if you look at another example, it says C equals C. Fine. C equals C is what? It simply says that the uh, like it, it's true by default. Like if C is one, C equal to C is true by default. Okay, so this can be a condition. Okay, then no what told like not necessarily different is also mentioned. Like our lowercase English alphabets, uh, English letters that not necessarily different. So C equal to C can be a possibility. Then it says B equal to D. Fine. So that's a different. Uh, so C C B equal to D. Let it be two. Let it be uh, two as well. Fine. And then you see X not equal to Z. So X can be anything. We'll say three and say this is five. Okay. So X not equal to Z. That's also true. So that's the criteria. So anyway, are anyone contradicting to us? No. Then the whole thing is true. So this is the thing we need to find. Now the question is how we should uh, find this algorithm, like how we should uh, solve this. So in this method, so the most useful way is finding like using this joint set or what we call union find algorithm, fine. So what exactly we want to do, say, say A equals to B, like in example one, A equals to B is given to us. So we are finding that somehow there's a set that uh, represents like A is equals to B like uh, all the values under this set or under this group are equal, okay? Further, it is mentioning B not equals to this. That means uh, this uh, statement not holds, thus we can find this is false, fine. Now, if we just go by the intu intuition, then what we can do? Like we, we have 26, uh, uh, 26 letters, right? Now, 26 letters, if you want to display this in terms of a graph, okay? Say, say like 
all the letters are not necessarily needed at any moment, but uh, maximum 26 letters are there. So if you want to represent them in a graph, so once we find A equal to B, that means there's finding a uh, path between that, right? So that basically means whenever like all the double equals equations we find, that's actually represents the connection in the graph, fine. And the connected graph should be of the same uh, same color or maybe the like whenever we are finding equal to so that means there's represent a connected graph fine now this connection we can consider that they are like the same value or having the same color or having the same union or same set fine so that's the idea now uh, further the like the we will check the in inequalities okay we will check all the inequalities and in the inequalities what we are actually trying to find out we will see like the two inequal nodes should be of different color. Let this be an example for us, okay? So now we're saying A equals B, okay? And then we're saying C equals B. So so if we just wanna like point them out in a graph, okay? Now what we can see if A equals B, that means they let A be the parent, like uh, there's no, no, no anything, there's anything like compulsion A should be the parent or B should be the, A, not like that. So let's let it be like it. So and uh, below that there's uh, B, fine? Now, uh, further we are saying C equals B. So that means uh, more or less, you can uh, go ahead like C is kind of the parent of uh, uh, A, okay? So that means you can go ahead like C is something over here, fine. Now uh, they're saying D equals E, okay? So D more or less is the uh, parent of E, fine. So D is the parent of E. Now uh, more, go ahead with something like E equals F. So E equals F is something like this. So what I'm trying to leave, like what I'm saying by parent and all, so this basically I'm trying to figure out that uh, if uh, they have a connection between them and all the values between them are equal. Okay, so just no noting that if any if there's any connection between them or not, fine. If I'm saying uh, if there's a connection between F and B, so I need to check for the so if A, if and B directly doesn't have a connection, then I need to check for whether it's uh, other elements like E and B has a connection or not. Then I need to go back and then you need to check whether D and E has a connection or not. Okay, so this is the format. So that's how we are just putting this in a graph. So up till up till this now, we found out that there are like two different uh, uh like two different graphs or two two different states or anything is there. Okay, there are different colors of graphs are there. Right. So okay, up till this we found this now. And then it's like F equals A. So that means F equals A. So what do you need to do? I, I can directly, I can directly join a connection between them like this way. There's no problem with that. But this is not a good way to connect them. Then how will we uh, figure out which one is connected to what? Okay, let's let's uh, keep it uh, in some systematic order, like even find method. What are we going to do? If A is equal A, I, I will check for whether E is equal A is already there or not. Fine. So first, all the equalities I'm trying to figure out. Okay. So that's the intuition. As I said, uh, I will try to figure out all the uh, equalities. That means I'll I'll be uh, connecting all the graphs. Okay. So f equals a. We we can uh, like while connecting, we can directly connect it in this format actually. But what we'll do? We'll check for the uh, like move back. Okay. If e is equal a or not. If d is equal a or not. Since since we have already uh, assigned it in, in this point, right, that D is like kind of the parent of the other. So we'll check for that. So D is not connected. Now we'll connect D is A. Now we'll see what's the parent of uh, uh, C, uh, like A, A is parent is C. So we just connect between them. See, this, this looks much better just by looks, nothing by uh, other stuff, okay? So we just got up till this, like F equals A, fine. Now uh, we'll not check for the not equals right now. We'll check for D equals G. Okay, so D equals G, like G, that means there's another graph called G, fine. Now, what we are uh, left out is the no inequalities. What we are finding out, now in the inequalities, what we will do, we'll simply say G not equals C. So the parent of G is D, okay, and we found uh, D is equal C. That's the connection between them. Okay, so directly, if we're finding out the G not equals C, there's no connection between them, right? We, we cannot say like G not equals C is true or not. We need to go look for a D, uh, like G's parent is there a D, and then we need to see if D and C are equal or not. If a D and C are equal, and this is invalid, so it'll simply return false. Okay, so this is the kind of way we will be looking ahead. Uh, there's no need you need to uh, generate this graph or something like this. There's no uh, formality that uh, 
a equals b that means a should be the parent of b nothing like that you go ahead with simple disjoint set so that means they are all in a set okay if they are equal that means they are all in a set or just they are in a single color uh, i connected c equal to d okay but the equation was f equal to a you simply go ahead and connect f equal to b there's no problem with that fine so this is the uh, format like just to make it look good i just type the c equal to d just to make sure that all them are all of them are correct fine right? so this is the way now uh, so two things we are going to do number one we will be assign like whenever we are getting double equals so we will be forming them in a connected graph or say simply you can say we are just forming them in a uh, set uh, or grouping them together in a set fine and then what else we are doing like next we will be checking all the inequalities fine in the all the in inequalities we will be checking like if two nodes should be different of color like right? okay but if we are checking like g not equal c that means uh, we need to find out if they are of different color if, if we cannot find a direct relation between them we need to go to the parent of them or simply go to the c to d i do will find out whether they are of different color or not so that's what, what it is okay so that is the basic idea so in the inequality section we can actually find out if the two are different or not in uh, simple equality section there's no problem in the equality section you keep on uh, adding all the equalities fine so this is what we will do in this question so i hope this is understandable how the question is done now let's quickly go ahead and write this code okay in this we will uh, will be using the exact union find algorithm that we have discussed over here and we'll be using that to find out our particular solution okay let's go ahead with that and let's find out our solution So there is a, this is the exact solution that we come across. So what exactly we did? We first, as a, as I said, we just took an array, uh, union find array, and this is like twenty six elements in it. Now, uh, by default, uh, something I left missing out, like I missed out while explaining, is like whenever we are finding like a union find, the each of the, the each of the characters are union to itself by default, right? So that's what we that's what we did when we did C double equals C, right? So that's what we did, and so this is the first step we're doing union to itself. Okay, we're just finding union of this to itself. That's what we are doing now. Uh, further in the first uh, for loop, what like this is an order of n. So in the first for loop, what we are doing, we are going through like all the uh, strings in equation. So all of this uh, variables one by one. that we are just finding two things if caret 1 one equals equal that means if this particular character is equal fine so if that is equal so that means uh, that means we are the as i said the first step for us was like uh, uh, for all the double equals equation we actually represent the connection in the graph fine so the if uh, if you find this the double equals is there that means the first character is uh, equal as as well so if you find that is so then we just uh, finding a uh, like a, a equation between them or you are just like we are just placing a, a connection between them we just finding all its parent okay uh, in the initial case p1 and p2 are like uh, to itself and we find there's no connection we just put a connection between them but we just simply put a connection between them uh, if they are not connected now uh, once we are done with this all the connection all the equality operations then we move into the string again to find all the inequality operations we find the, all the inequality and then we find the both the equation we find all the like the, their parents is self right and in case in case the both the parents are equal by diff, any how we just find out that both the parents are equal we return false okay if they are not equal then it's okay we just uh, a, like over get over with this uh, loop and ultimately return a true now what is this find algorithm is doing see find algorithm is simply saying if uh, our current index uh, like 
or uh, array index is pointing to itself like this this case okay you have u f of i equals i so if it is u f of x equals x if that is true then we are returning our x okay this is this is a parent and the other case we are finding out what is u f of x u f of x is we are doing find of u f of x we are finding u f of x we are just finding that particular value or the of the previous uh, parent to it okay so that is what we are finding out over here so that's the basic thing as i was drawing in the graph we are just going to express going to express and then finding out whoever is the connection whatever is the connection we have fine so that's what we are actually finding out i hope it is understood about how the code works over here and if you still are facing any doubt with this question make sure to comment them down i'll be happy to help you out in the comments as well also make sure to like this video and uh, share it with your friends who are solving today's lit code problem thank you all for watching this video hope to see you soon in my next video as well thank you